Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the easiest cinnamon rolls ever and we're using an air fryer for this. It only takes 8 minutes of cooking time and we don't need to leave the dough to rest so we're saving a lot of time. It's such a great recipe to have when you're craving cinnamon rolls but you don't really have a few hours to make them. So let's get started! In a large mixing bowl, add 2 cups of self-raising flour. Also add in 1 cup of yogurt. You can use any yogurt flavor that you want like vanilla, coconut, or Greek yogurt. I'm just using vanilla flavor for this recipe, so mix the yogurt and flour really well until it's completely combined. If the dough is too thick by the way, you can add a bit more yogurt and also if the dough is too thin, then you can add more flour. Lightly dust your kitchen surface with a bit of flour and transfer the dough on top. Gently knead it several times until you form a dough ball like this. Because the dough is very sticky right now, I'm adding in a bit more flour. After kneading the dough, now it looks like this. We're going to flatten this bowl but first I'm just dusting the top with some flour so the rolling pin doesn't get stuck on it. Now let's roll it into a large rectangular shape around 1cm in thickness or even less so just around that thickness. By the way, if you guys want the full recipe, you can check it out in the description box down below. After flattening the dough, now we can make the cinnamon filling. In a small bowl, add melted butter, brown sugar, and cinnamon. Just mix everything together and that's it. It's very simple. Now we just spread this onto the dough. You might just want to wait until the butter hardens a little bit so you can spread it more easily. As you can see, I didn't wait so yeah, it's still a bit watery. But that's fine, just use a spatula and spread the cinnamon filling on top and also make sure that you cover the edges as well so that every bite has some filling in it. Once you've done that, we can now roll the dough. Start from the short end of the dough, tightly roll it up into a log like I'm doing right now. Just be a bit gentle because the dough is quite soft. You can use a sharp knife to slice the log into 8 portions or you can also use a clean floss like this. Make sure that you use the one with no flavor so it won't have a minty taste unless you want cinnamon rolls with a bit of mint. If that's your thing, then go ahead, I mean, who am I to say no, you know? Well, anywho, after you're done cutting your cinnamon rolls, place them in a circular baking pan and then put it in an air fryer basket. And the main question is if you don't have an air fryer, what can you use? You can use your oven. So we're just going to air fry our cinnamon rolls or bake it in a preheated oven at 180 degrees celsius or 350 degrees fahrenheit for 8 minutes. Remove the cinnamon rolls from the air fryer basket and just leave it to cool down for now. While we're waiting for the cinnamon rolls to cool down, we can now make the frosting. So add the cream cheese and butter in a mixing bowl. Beat these together until it's combined. Add the powdered sugar and mix it until it's completely smooth. I know you can just buy cinnamon rolls from the bakery or the groceries but you know eating it freshly baked it's still different it's still much more yummy so this recipe is really handy for everyone who's too busy but loves to make cinnamon rolls like myself i hope you guys like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on instagram at preemc for more updates let me know in the comment section what recipe you want me to do next and see you in the next one